So there we go, rat bags. That was the April Fool's joke that Iron Gate have done, as is a tradition now. I think last year we had Players of Deer, and the year before it was Players of Deer as a car, or maybe that was last year. I can't remember. But either way, they've done some great April Fool's jokes, and that's another one. I ain't going to lie, I think I would actually play as Heldar, given the chance or an option, for sure. But that's not all we're talking about today. Last week, I got a chance to talk to Grimcore, the lead on Valheim, about his travels to America to look at GDC and finishing up Ashlands. It was an impromptu interview or a little talk halfway through me getting ready and just getting used to playing Valheim again after a gap. And he had big things to say about that as well and getting to 1.0 with the Deep North. So I'm going to play a couple of the inserts, give my little bit of opinion about it. And also you can find the link to this live stream down below if you want to watch the whole thing. In the end, Grim joined us to try and take on the Queen with some mixed results. I think this I think this is oh I'm a little bit worried because I, I, I believe many people are in the same situation where they've been waiting for the update and have not been playing. Will come in very rusty. Yeah. And yeah. They will definitely hit a wall made of solid rock and lava. Yep. But that's uh, that's that. I feel like everyone should know that by now because you guys don't know what balance is. So you just make it as hard as you want, <laughs> and that's yeah, it. That's and and I, then you dial it back because you are all experienced Dark Soul players. I think what, what okay in the best of worlds, yeah. uh, people will come in and say it's too easy. <laughs> so, yeah, and then we can just up the difficulty. Yes. Um, Yes, but I think the biggest problem is, uh, I yeah, biggest problem is that we have two different communities. We have the adventurers mm -hmm. and those experienced in combat. I'm not saying that this is across the board this way, but generally, uh, builders tend to be soft little pussies. No, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait. Yeah. No, you can't just yeah. say that. Yeah, Grim said uh, builders are pussies. Yeah, got uh, more calm people who tend to the base and so on. Yeah. Not everyone, but um, uh, but okay. So and then there's also different difference between multiplayer base builders and and single player uh, base builders. Because single player base builders are basically good at at the Valheim ABC overall. So the thing to take away there is if you haven't played Valheim for a while, you really do maybe want to get some more experience before hopping on a boat and going straight to Ashlands. It's honestly what I'm doing. I haven't played properly on a server or with my rat bags since Mistlands came out. When Hilda's request came, I ended up just doing some quick guides using obviously creative mode or some of the cheats. I didn't start a fresh playthrough or carry on my character. So I am definitely rusty as you'll see from the end of this video. And that's what we've got PTB for. It is the testing phase. So it's vital we give feedback whether or not this update is going to be hard or too easy or whether or not it's going to be similar to some of the other updates that have arrived. Because we know that we, even we are doing Ashlands, we know we need to go to Deep North. We, yeah. like, we have this in front of us. Um, we have to make it the best we can and everything. But there is no real... Um, like, like I said before, we work very iteratively and very organically at Iron Gate, and we one of our main philosophies is follow the fun, um, gameplay first, uh, and you now it means like it, having a roadmap in front of you saying like Deep North is next. Then, yeah. it's, then it's like okay, how make Deep North fun? Because uh, we promised this. Um, and it's difficult to sometimes create the fun within within those like those confined walls, I guess. Yeah, because you can't um, really change it. You can't really say, you know what, a snow biome, maybe that wouldn't be as good. Maybe we could try doing something a bit different, but you're kind of tied into it now. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it, it does feel fitting to go to deep north as you've been to the land of the Safe. ash and now you go to the land of the snow and it kind of feels nice with the balance and, and all yeah um but it's just like i i want to explore what 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 1.1 means and yeah. is um without saying like oh, it has to be this it, it's already predefined so I put it to Grim that, yeah, it's going to have to think more ahead as well because it is going to maybe be the 1.0 update. Now, Grim didn't say that explicitly, but I kind of get the feeling that's what it's alluding to. So 
obviously Deep North, you would expect, would be maybe the update they save. And that means they've got to work on a lot of other aspects of the game. Like we still got to need work on the oceans and other bits and bobs I know they want to add. And I've spoken about adding and improving to get that 1.0 as good as it can be. I mean, uh, you could do it in many different ways, but as as soon as you complete, like we could put a biome in between if we wanted to. Yeah. Uh, but I think I think the best thing is to just complete complete Valheim, get it. Uh, by that mean, like Deep North would complete Valheim. You'd yeah. need an ending. You'd need uh, satisfying conclusion. Yeah. Exactly. And that's important. So, so it's, um, yeah, because that's it. You've got well, to tie that, that in. Out. It's not just a biome. You've got to factor in what people's expectations are of defeating the last boss in the deep. Yep. You know. Yeah, I can see that being. So oh. it's not. It's not just a biome. It's. Um, it's everything. But uh, but to be honest, I'm done with Ashlands though. So yeah, you don't. <laughs> so want to, you don't. Want, no more hot summer Viking. That's it. No more hot summer Viking collection. It's uh, I, I'm I mean, it's been fun. Uh, we're in the in the uh, oh how to say we're we're almost there. Yeah. We're almost there. Uh, but but, it, but it's all these small small things that actually just add up to like okay so are we actually done? Are we just over polishing? No no no. No, we're not. We we need to continue this and this and this. Make make it Valheim. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But but I'm I'm just um, even though I have a lot of energy coming back from from GDC, it's uh, it's already waning. I'm, I'm, okay, and also I'm just stoked to get it out. Yeah. Uh, to PTB as soon as possible. Which uh, someone I've been hyping it up, and then obviously some smart ass was like, well, actually they're already in PTB with this engine upgrade improvements. So it's not coming right. in time soon. That is true. Yes, yes, smart asses. There is indeed a PTB going on at the moment. So I was kind of expecting the Ashlands update to drop this week. Literally, that's what I thought would happen based on the tease that have been given on dev blogs and gameplay. But you never know. I think it would obviously now, if we look at that engine upgrade, it hasn't gone public for everyone. That's what it had a bunch of stuff in it was to do with upgrading the Unity engine and a few other bits and bobs as well. So Ashlands is nearly here, but it could be still a few weeks away at the very least. Like you never know, it might get the PTB out on Tuesday tomorrow and then Ashlands goes live on Thursday on PTB. But yeah, judging by what was said in this small little impromptu interview, I wouldn't expect it for a few weeks. So either way, as usual, I really appreciate when I get a chance to talk to the Valheim devs and hear what they've got to say about development or just talking and messing around playing other games, which we do at times. It's great to see they're already thinking ahead, obviously, about the Deep North and what that will mean and the 1.0 basically update. So now's the time. If you've got any suggestions or ideas about what you want to see added to Valheim or improve between now, realistically, and potentially the next big last update for 1.0, then you need to get that into the Discord in the feedback and suggestions tab. As soon as we get any real big info about when, when Ashlands is coming, I will let you guys know. Like I said, there's loads more that we spoke about in this about an hour long, and then we went and tried taking on the Queen. Like I said, we spoke about a whole lot more, so go and check out the live stream. I'll leave the timestamps for when Grim went and joined. And yes, I'm very much looking forward to Ashlands. I'm going to be doing lots of live streams, lots of guides, lots of gameplay. So until next time, Ratbags, for any more news, laters.